Wix versus Squarespace, let's get to it. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David. So I've created long form tutorial videos using both Wix and Squarespace and they're pretty similar in some ways and very different in other ways. And I know that if you're not wanting to get too technical with setting up your own website with WordPress, etc., cetera, uh, you are probably going to be looking at some type of like website builder because they are appealing because it's just an all-in-one solution. It's really made for a non-technical person. So which one is a better? Or Wix or Squarespace, let's get to it. Website Builder. So let's lead off this comparison by taking a look at the Squarespace Website Builder versus the Wix Website Builder. Honestly, this is one of the biggest differences between these two content management system, website builder platforms, etc. Now, I would describe Wix as like an unstructured website builder in the sense that you can like drag and drop blocks anywhere on the web page. You can resize and format different types of text any way you like. It's completely unstructured. And so that means you have like full control over the look and feel of your website, which is really great, but it also can be really bad because if you don't know what you're doing, you can make your website into a big mess. Whereas with Squarespace, it's definitely more structured. It definitely works by way of like a, a dedicated block builder. So like you add in a different section for your website, then you can edit and add uh, specific elements within those different sections that you add and everything's kind of just structured and looks nice, but you don't have the same granular control that you do with Wix. So if you have like a piece of text that you want to highlight something or change the color of something in this specific little block on this part of your website, with Wix, it's no problem. With Squarespace, you're a little bit more limited. So in general, which one do I personally like more? I do prefer the Squarespace experience. I think it's a lot more fast and intuitive to allow a complete beginner to get a very beautiful and impressive looking website. I say that a lot, very beautiful, and impressive, but it's true. It, the Squarespace builder is just a lot more easy for a complete beginner, but that's not to take away from Wix. I mean, Wix is really powerful because it is that unstructured editor. Like you can really just dive in and create a very custom looking website. So it's totally up to you. Do you want something that's a little bit more, not template-y, but like with Squarespace, it's a little bit more cookie cutter. Once you see one Squarespace website, you kind of get a feel for the way they like to have you design their website. Whereas with Wix, you have full control over it and you can even hire someone to custom design your Wix website to your liking. So anyways, it's totally up to you which one you prefer, structured versus unstructured. It's not to say one is better than the other. It really is just a personal preference. Domain names. So with creating your very own website, you are going to need a domain name like yourwebsite.com. Now with both Wix and Squarespace, you can register a domain name through both of these website builders. Their price points are are a little bit different. Wix is more expensive, but they, again, like you'll find this with Wix, they kind of hide the cost a little bit more. So with Squarespace, it costs $20 a year and you get free Who is Protection included in that. But with Wix, it costs $15 a year, but they have the uh, Who is Protection as a $10 upsell. So it's not exactly the same price with Wix and functionally you're going to be paying $25 a year for a .com, whereas with Squarespace, it's $20 a year. For me personally, I wouldn't use Wix or Squarespace as my domain name register. I would actually just go to a domain name register and register my domain name there. Uh, personally, I like to use Namecheap. I recommend Namecheap in all of my tutorial videos because they have great low prices, much lower than Wix and Squarespace, and you get free who is protection. Now, one downside about Wix is that setting up a custom domain name that you get at a domain name register like Namecheap, Google Domain Names, Dynadot, etc., is overly complicated. So much so, I had to create a tutorial video on how it's done because I had to waste an hour of my time going back and forth with support. Whereas with Squarespace, everything just works appropriately. Next up is blogging. So both platforms allow you to create a blog very easy and fast and both give you the correct amount of control over your on-page SEO. Uh, again, it just comes back to the website builder. So with Wix, you have way more control over your individual blog posts as well as your blog post page. So you can really just adjust the look and feel and design and layout much more than you can with Squarespace. But again, like I said, that doesn't mean that Squarespace is bad. Squarespace comes with built-in templates that work, they look great, and everything's in the correct spot. And so you really don't wouldn't necessarily want to customize Squarespace that much. Now, one thing I found really fun about Wix that I didn't see within Squarespace is that you can content lock your blog post behind a paid subscription. So if you're looking for an alternative to something like Substack or Ghost, you can actually do this with Wix because they have it built in uh, to their blogging experience. So like you can just content lock things and people have to pay a monthly subscription to get access to your blog post. Squarespace doesn't really have anything like that. And finally, for both platforms, they both lack the ability to cloak affiliate links. Now I know that sounds scary, like, oh, cloak affiliate, like you're doing something shape. No, 
What cloaking affiliate links means is just you take a long, ugly affiliate link and then you turn it into something like mywebsite.com slash product name so it looks very trustworthy when people mouse over the link to click on it, et cetera, so they know where they're going to end Now up. with WordPress, you can use something like Pretty Links and so Pretty Links allows you to do that and Pretty Links is helpful because it allows you to track clicks. So if you're someone who runs paid ads, you can set up some type of like uh, affiliate link and cloak that affiliate link, then run paid ads and you can check to see the clicks and the conversion rate, et cetera. With Wix and Squarespace, you can't do that so so it's quite frustrating because then you have to rely on some type of third party solution like Bitly, etc. E commerce. Now, e commerce between Wix and Squarespace is kind of similar in the sense that if you want to sell like 10 to 20 physical products, you can do that with both platforms. If you want to upload your own digital products like an ebook or whatever, maybe like a video course and sell it via your website, you can do both. If you want to have paid subscriptions, you can do that with both Wix and Squarespace. Now, if you're really serious about starting an online store, obviously I wouldn't recommend Wix or Squarespace. You definitely wanna look at like Shopify or WordPress and WooCommerce because they provide all the features that you need to get started with selling online. They take care of things like shipping, labels, taxes, inventory management, etc. Not to say, again, you can't do that with like Wix and Squarespace. It's just a little bit more basic. And again, like I just said, it's more ideal if you're just looking to sell like 10, 20 products, something small, etc. So let's just jump into the back end of both Wix and Squarespace. So I created online stores with both platforms. I'm speaking from experience and these are the differences. Now with Squarespace, what I like and what separates it a little bit from Wix is that one, they offer gift cards and they offer back in stock, low in stock notifications that are done in a very uh, polite way that's not overly annoying, whereas Wix does not. And also something that I personally just like about Squarespace is I like how it's a structured editor. So a structured editor just means like you add in different sections and then you can edit and adjust the sections individually. And that's great if you're not a designer because then it's just really easy to just build something that looks good. Whereas with Wix is very powerful. It, but if you don't really know how to design, you're not really interested in, in nerding out and getting into the nitty gritty you're gonna find it a little bit frustrating and you can make your website a bit of a mess. And I also find that the templates that come with Squarespace, while they're not as numerous as Wix, they are better from a design standpoint. But Wix gives you a lot more control over the look and feel of your website. So if you do have skill or you wanna hire someone to design a really custom looking store, you're going to much prefer the Wix platform. If you're a solo, a creator or a small team and you're not really like into design you're probably going to like squarespace a little bit more all right so anyways now let's take a quick look at the plans so with wix over here they have basic unlimited and a vip and this is great it's a very competitive price point starting at 17 dollars a month for e-commerce and you get everything that you need you get secure online payments recurring payments customer accounts uh, you can set a custom domain name, removes Wix ads, etc. Uh, you are limited with your storage just a little bit. So just be aware of that. But they don't charge any type of transaction fee. Whereas if you take a look at Squarespace and you take a look at the business plan, the business plan does uh, charge 3% transaction fee. So you're not really saving that much money, even though it's $23 compared to $17. The $23, uh, you know, that, that 3% is just going to eat into any type of profit. So you do have to upgrade your accounts to either their dedicated basic commerce plan or advanced. So in the tutorial that I made, uh, I was using the advanced commerce. And I really like it because this is the plan where you get abandoned cart recovery. And for me, that's essential. Like if you're running an online store, you definitely need to set that up because the abandoned cart recovery does work. Whereas with Wix, you get it across all their plans, okay? So it just depends on what you need. I personally prefer Squarespace a little bit more than Wix, but both are great platforms. They just have subtle differences within their pricing plans and features. Now for the differences between the two platforms, what I really like about Squarespace is that they have a nice integration with Etsy built in. So if you're selling on Etsy, then you can just incorporate and download your products or not download, but you can embed your products on your Squarespace website and everything just works seamlessly. You can also incorporate 
incorporate uh, the reviews that you have on your Etsy website, your Etsy profile page onto your Squarespace website. You can also sell directly on Instagram with your Squarespace website, which I think is really creative and interesting. And if you have a large following on Instagram, then it makes it really valuable. Wix, by contrast, is much better if you're looking to get started with perhaps drop shipping or print on demand because with your Wix account, you have automatic integration with Modalist, which is a drop shipping platform. So you can just embed products from Modalist and then make sales and then just ship out the product or Printful, which is a print on demand website. So you can just have your own t-shirts, cups, mugs, etc., and then just embed those products on your Wix website and then make sales and then you get a commission if that makes any sense. So again, like it just depends on what you want to do. So I like like Wix more if I was looking to start some type of like drop shipping oriented website. I like Squarespace if I'm an Etsy seller or maybe I'm just selling like 10, 20 products, nothing major. Or maybe I just want to sell like a digital download, then I would consider going with Squarespace. So both platforms are great depending on what you want to do. They are not like enterprise level e-commerce platforms. I wouldn't use them as an alternative to Shopify, but if you're someone who's like a YouTuber, content creator, blogger, uh, you want to have some type of e-commerce functionality built into your website, you can do that with both Wix and Squarespace. And pricing. So the pricing plans between Wix and Squarespace, which one has the better price points? Squarespace, <laughs> plain and simple. So if you're looking for the better value, Squarespace provides the better value because uh, they keep it simple and I like keeping things simple. So with Squarespace, you have four plans, that's it. So you have a very beginner friendly plan for if you just want to create a website, then they have their business plan. So if you want to start a blog, maybe upload an ebook or have digital downloads or sell a few physical products, you can. Then they have two dedicated plans for more e-commerce oriented functionality. By contrast, Wix has seven plans. So they have a bunch of different plans if you want to start a website and then a bunch of different plans if you want to start an e-commerce oriented website. Now with their website plans, their very basic plan is not that usable because you can pay to connect a domain name, which is not that big of a deal, not that big of a selling point because you can go on like blogger.com or a Google Sites and then connect a domain name for free without having to pay uh, Google Sites any type of fee in order to do that. So I don't really get the value of their lowest tier plan uh, with Wix. But the bigger issue is like with Wix and their website plans, they're only website plans, so they're all content oriented. Uh, and so they're ideal for like starting a blog or running some type of subscription revenue service, et cetera. But if you wanna have e-commerce functionality, you can't do that on their website plans. You have to upgrade to their more expensive e-commerce plans. So to break it down, you're just going to be paying a little bit more for Wix when compared to Squarespace for the same exact functionality. All right, so which one is best and which one do I prefer? So they're both good website builders and I do recommend both. It just depends on what you want to do. I know that's like a cop out. Nobody wants to hear that. You want like, oh, one or the other, but Wix is great because it has an unstructured editor. So you can really just customize and design your website to your liking in a way that you can't do with a Squarespace website. Squarespace websites are very beautiful, but they can be a little bit cookie cutter. And that's the only thing I don't like because they all have a similar style. Not that it's bad, but again, that's another selling point of Wix is that just a little bit more degree of functionality and customizability. With regards to blogging and e-commerce, it's just a mixed bag. So blogging on both platforms is totally fine and, and similar experience in the sense that you can create your blog posts, you drag and drop different blocks in, like I wanna add in a video, a picture, H1, H2 title tags, change the on-page SEO, that sort of thing. It's just built into both platforms. Wix is a little bit more interesting because you can content lock your blog posts. So you can run a paid subscription. With Squarespace, you can incorporate like a scheduling service. So you can sell your time a little bit more easily and effectively than you can with Wix. So you could create like a blog post on Squarespace and at the bottom, you can embed some type of table so people can book your time or have a button to direct people to a call to action to book your time, etc. Not to say you can't do that with Wix. It's just way more easier and intuitive with Squarespace. And last, is e-commerce. So e-commerce, again, like if you want to do drop shipping or print on demand, then you're going to like Wix a lot more than Squarespace. But if you just want to sell digital downloads, both platforms are fine. If you want to sell like 10, 20 physical products, both platforms are kind of the same. There's not like really one's radically better than the other. And then with the price points, it's just be aware of what you're paying for. Both are upfront, but Wix does tend to like just add in fees whenever possible, just like the domain name, for example. Like I like Squarespace, that's $20 
Free Who is protection. That's what you need. That's what you need when registering a domain name. And I like that it's just upfront and built in. Whereas with Wix, it's like, okay, the domain name price is lower, but then, oh, well, you know, Who is protection is an upsell for $10. So the domain name price at Wix would be $25 a year compared to Squarespace's $20 a year. Uh, but again, I would just recommend going with a domain name register like Namecheap, Google Domain Names, et cetera. And if you go that route, then you're going to find Squarespace is a lot easier to use your custom domain name that you got a domain name register, whereas Wix makes it overly complicated. All right, everyone, that's it for this video comparing Squarespace and Wix. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you did, consider subscribing and hit that like button. If you haven't already, maybe check out my tutorials on how to create a website with both Wix and Squarespace. I'll link them in the description. Anyway, my name is David. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.